Hi guys, ever thought how Instagram remembers which posts you liked even after you log out? Let's decode that using a simple Java program. Okay, so in order to make that happen, I'm going to take two methods. Okay, so just let me try to take public void like posts. Okay, and uh, just a sec. Right, let me just try to take one more method public void show likes yeah that's better show likes so i'm gonna take two methods one method to add the likes of the users and second method is to show which posts is having how many likes so in order to make that happen let me make this method as a parameterizer method let me just try to go int post id and uh, string username okay and here i'm going to take just int post id okay so i'm gonna take a map guys i'll be using map collection class here so to be precise i'll be using hash map let me just try to take hash map okay just map belongs to hash map and uh, generic i'll be using the key as integer and the value i'm going to take it as an array list of type string it's going to accept string all right so let me use this generic here you know that map will be storing the data in key value pairs so my intention is keys should be integer that is post ids and values that is array list which accepts user names all right so first i want to know whether my post id is available in my map or not so just let me try to use a small code here i'm going to use map dot contains key i'll be using post id okay and if the key is there i'm trying to get that value let me just try to use get method to get the value so obviously it is going to return me an array list sure array list of it's going to accept string now in this array list i'll be trying to add the users who have liked our post so just let me try to go like el dot add username so this logic is if the post is already available in our map what if the post is not available in the map in that particular scenario i'll be going with else block intentionally i'll be creating an array list separate array list okay just let me try to use the generic as string equal to l belongs to array list now here i'm going to use string okay now in this array list let me just try to add my username now along with this array list which is having the username i need to add this post id into my map why because you know the post id is not available previously so just let me try to use put method in map map dot put so post id and uh, i'm going to use this so in this particular method i have used defaults conditions in if block what if already the post id is available if the id is already available i'm going to add the username if the id is not available i'm going to create an array list in that array list i'm adding the username and along with that array list i'm trying to add the post id this post id which acts as a key into my map as simple as this and value is our array list right so this method is for like posts what if we want to view the likes so in order to make that happen just let me try to get that post id i'll be trying to get that post id map dot get post id okay here i'm going to use post id return type is obviously i mean we'll be getting that value that is array list just let me try to go like this array list which accepts string okay now i'll be here also i'll be try, just trying to use a small if condition that is if my array list is not equal to null yeah of course if array list is not equal to null uh, logical end i'll be using a method that is is empty 
you know what this is empty method will do is empty method will return true if there are no elements present there as elements are there if elements are there is empty method is going to return false now as i'm using logical end i'm going to use logical not here so that if it is returning false it will be converting into true now in that scenario just okay now in that case i'll be trying to print both post ids along with that value means this is the key and this is the value else just a second in else block just let me try to use system dot out dot print ln post id plus post id for i'll do like for post id there are still no likes i'm just trying to write like this yeah enough that's it now let me go to my main method please i'm going to my main method now inside my main method let me just try to create an object for my class equal to a o b j belongs to class a a o b j dot first i want to go with like posts I'm just trying to go with 101 and here I'm going to give my name as Kishan. Right. Let me just try to copy paste like this and for the same post let us think like John and uh, one more post ID. Here I'll go with uh, something like Ahmed and uh, for 101 here I'll go with uh, something like raju just like this okay so basically my intention is 101 this is my post id and for this 101 post kishan is the user who had give it a like same for the same post for 101 john is also giving the like for the same post 101 raju is also giving the like so like that i believe you understand the point here so here if you are going with 102 this is completely an another post okay now I want to view the data. Please observe. Let me just try to execute my program. Just, oh, I did not. Just a second. Let me try to. Okay. I need to. Okay. Right now, right now, what happened? You know, we are adding the data. Let's try to view the data. I want to view means which post is having how many likes or else which users had liked which posts okay in order to make that happen i need to call our method let me just try to call aobj dot show likes i'm gonna give 101 just okay and one more i'm going with 102 this is 103 okay kindly please do remember here there are only two posts which we have like i have given one more post id also 103 so let's see what happens let me just try to execute a program and now please observe for 101 posts these are the users who gave a like for 102 this is the user who gave a like for post id 103 still there are no likes i believe you got the point here by using this likes post method like posts method we are trying to save the user and by using this show likes method we are trying to view how many users have liked a particular post apps like instagram and youtube use similar logic behind the scenes only with millions of users and powerful databases but this is how it all starts this is one of the real-time ideas which we will be trying to build in our java course do you want to turn your curiosity into coding skills join my next batch learn java build projects and get job ready like share and subscribe for our narishaiti youtube channel for getting more such similar content see you in the next video guys